Hello, creative folks. Welcome to Motion Boat. In this video, we will cover this exciting and easy rotoscope technique inside Adobe After Effects. If you are a beginner, then this tutorial will teach you the easiest way to rotoscope. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's import the footage. And by dropping this footage here, I have created a new comp. Let's double click on the footage layer. And here, I can see my layer window next to my composition. For now, let's close this composition window. Now we are going to start to paint this area. Select the Roto Brush tool. Oh, okay, let me increase this brush size. To increase, hold the control key and left mouse button and drag, okay? Now paint the area that you want to rotoscope, something like this. This has to be done very precisely. Now to remove the unwanted selection, hold the Alt key and you can see the red minus sign here. Deselect the area like this. Here, I need to change the brush size. This is perfect. Follow the same process. You see the preview by clicking here, like this. And you will find the edges need to be fine. Hey, have you noticed this yellow warning? This is very important to keep your composition on the full resolution for best result. Let's open the composition window. And look at here, the resolution is half. Let's make it full. Now fine tune the selection. And once you feel this is done, like I think this is properly selected, press the space bar, and this tool will select your next frames automatically. You need to watch if your selection is going off the subject, like here. This area is going out of selection. Stop this by pressing the space bar. Use the page up key to jump to the next frame. To remove this, hold the alt key and deselect this area and press the space bar again. and this will take some time to rotoscope the entire footage. And done. Now let's freeze this roto layer by clicking here. And this will also take some time. Perfect. Go to the composition, select the layer and make a duplicate layer. And select the bottom layer and delete the roto brush effect from here. Now you can add any text in between these layers. I will quickly show you. Let's type here something and place it somewhere here. Make a duplicate and drag it here. Turn on the fill color here. This is looking amazing. You can add a simple animation to the text. And done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel for more motion design tutorial videos. Hit the like button and comment below what you want to watch. Till then, see you.